This is weird because it's really hard for me to watch myself whenever I do anything. That was great whale. Good for you. Talking whale. It's just like hearing myself, which is even worse, you know, when you hear yourself on tape. <laughs> so it's going to be torture now that I think about it. What am I thinking? Help! 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 Please, that's all right. And so you do the thing, whatever it is, the line 90 times and you have a director who helps you by saying, it's almost like you're a kid and when you want a bicycle, you're, he gave me freedom to go wherever I wanted to go. So I, I, uh, I took him up on that and went crazy with it. So my goal would be to make them laugh and I would go and go and go until they, would, they couldn't hold, I could, I could see that they were trying to stop laughing because they would be in front of me. Um, and then finally they would just lose it. Come back. He's not coming back. We offended him. Maybe a different dialect. I didn't even think about that going in. But your voice is the only thing you have to get uh, emotion across. And every single tiny nuance is important. Come on. Yes, I'm a natural blue. Get up. Do it. For the longest time, I just thought it was me in the movie, uh, until I saw the billboards go up. And I said, what's a shark doing in the movie? I thought it was just me. That's wild to, to be by yourself that whole time. Three years I've been working on it. I know a, a lot of what I did in it, and I know the story, and I remember the story, obviously, but um, it's, it's going to be very weird to see uh, me. And, and because I know from watching the other Pixar films, I started caring about toys. I started really getting, you, you believe they're real. So it's gonna be weird to see me as a fish and, and get invested. I'll, I'll probably be too close to it anyway. I forget things almost instantly. It runs in my family. Well, I mean, at least I think it does. Um, hmm, where are they? Can I help you? It's a whole world down there that unless you scuba dive, which I never have, I mean, I've snorkeled just for the first time actually last summer, and it is incredible because you can go in water, but until you actually put that mask on and look down and see that world that exists down there, and I can't imagine what it, what it would be like to scuba dive, and this kind of, from what I see, it, it, it feels like you would be in that world. And hopefully that's what this movie will do. It makes people start paying attention more to, to the ocean and to fish and to have, uh, you know, respect for, for that life. Well, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. It sounds really corny, but that's why I'm proud to be a part of a movie like this because there aren't too many movies that are number one timeless and that's the kind of comedy that I appreciate. And this kind of movie where kids can go and get it and it's smart and it's funny and it's kind and it's positive, it's not violent, it's not negative, and yet uh, I appreciate it and adults appreciate it because it's so clever and it's so smart. It's just so funny and, and so it's a, it really is a movie that every age group can appreciate on, on, on different levels. Dorino singing. Oh, 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 I love to swim in Dorin. when you want to swim you want See, to See, I'm gonna get stuck on. now with that song now it's in my head. Sorry.